Item number, SCP-2665. Object class, safe. Containment protocols. SCP-2665-A is housed at Site-48 in a safe class containment locker. Testing with SCP-2665-A is currently being supervised by Dr. Smith. SCP-2665-A is not to be used for testing unless permission is granted from Senior Researcher Andrew or a Level 3 Researcher. The tunnels within SCP-2665-B are to be constantly monitored by guards, who are also tasked with searching the tunnels in order to retrieve any additional documents written by the ENCC. SCP-2665-B's known entrances have been closed off using a cover story of hazardous tunnel collapses. Update. As of test 2665-A-6, access to SCP-2665-A is to be granted only to senior researchers. Junior researchers are authorized to assist with testing of SCP-2665 only at the request of a senior researcher. Description. SCP-2665 is the collective designation given to two anomalies, SCP-2665-A and SCP-2665-B. SCP-2665-A is a weathered pickaxe made out of non-anomalous oak wood and iron. It measures 5.5 kilograms in weight and 1 meter in length. SCP-2665-A's anomalous effects manifest when a subject holds SCP-2665-A with one hand near the head and the other at the base of the handle. See footnote 1. When holding SCP-2665-A in this manner, subjects will experience an audio-visual hallucination referred to as a 2665 event. During the hallucination, subjects will witness an event that matches up with real-life actions undertaken by the extra-normal creature's control. See footnote 2. The subject's hallucinations will either take place within Connecticut, Massachusetts, or another northeastern state within America. SCP-2665-B is an abandoned facility located within a small mountain in blank, Connecticut. This facility was the main base of the ENCC. Inside the facility are several crudely constructed containment cells for housing anomalous objects or entities. A majority of the anomalies that the ENCC had contained are either missing or have lost their anomalous properties. The anomalies contained by the ENCC have been classified by the Foundation as either Class E objects or anomalous objects. The containment cells have been rebuilt by the Foundation and are being used as D-Class dormitories and Class E holding cells. Discovery of SCP-2665 SCP-2665-B was discovered during the first establishment of Site-48. While constructing the site, personnel discovered the entrance to the abandoned facility within a cliff face of a small mountain. Personnel inspected the area and discovered several documents somewhat similar in format to SCP documents. Foundation documents were researched to determine if the organization was accounted for in the list of known groups of interest. This facility was not included. During further exploration of the facility, Foundation personnel found documents belonging to the extra-normal creature's control. It was also discovered that a large part of the facility had been destroyed. The destroyed remains led to a series of mining tunnels and caves. Inscribed on the walls were arrows pointing towards a large cavern, filled with water and with sunlight shining through the ceiling of the cave. In the middle of the cave, a book was found containing old documents along with SCP-2665-A. Incident 2665-1 During test 2665-A-6, senior researcher Andrew and junior researcher Branks took D-1169 inside of SCP-2665-B in order to determine whether any kind of special reaction would occur if a 2665 event were initiated inside of SCP-2665-B. D-1169 then attempted to avoid being part of the test by breaking off a loose stalactite and stabbing the security guard escorting the Class D and researchers. 
D1169 then escaped out of SCP-2665-B and was terminated on site when trying to exit Site-48. Shortly following the Class D's escape, junior researcher Branks, see footnote 3, disappeared. SCP-2665-A was found in one of the caverns in which Branks had previously hidden in. Junior researcher Branks has yet to be found. Addendum 2665.1 Recovered Documentation of ENCC Anomalies Listed are some of the anomalies contained by the ENCC. Nearly all ENCC anomalies have been contained as SCPs or as Class E's. Report to Dr. Smith if any anomalies are discovered within SCP-2665-B. ENCC-018 Containment Class Low Level Creature Control Object is kept within Anomaly Locker 018. Personnel are to be on the lookout for any roughly cylindrical objects that have been affected by ENCC-018. Update. ENCC-018 instances can be used as a message delivery system. Description. ENCC-018 is a phenomenon that randomly affects almost any type of pale or cylindrical shaped object. The phenomenon, designated ENCC-018-A, creates duplicates of a cylindrical object. Some examples are a bucket or cup. If anything is placed within one of the duplicates, the object placed in will fall through the duplicate and exit out of the other one. Anomaly was labeled as E-407. ENCC-001 Containment Class Medium Level Creature Control Object is kept within a steel containment chamber in cell 001. Everyone is to remember the control protocols for ENCC-001 at every group meeting. Personnel are not allowed to use ENCC-001 unless approved by Sally and John. Description. ENCC-001 is a small box with a lock. The key to ENCC-001 is currently guarded by the founder of the ENCC, John. Whenever an object is placed within ENCC-001, the memories of the object are destroyed. This includes all memories associated with the object. The memory that the object was placed within ENCC-001 will also be destroyed. For example, if one individual places an old watch into ENCC-001 that was passed down from their grandfather, then the memory of the grandfather will also be expunged. Another anomalous effect of ENCC-001 is that it causes itself to be forgotten by some of the personnel within the ENCC. Object was not found in containment cell. ENCC-149 Containment Class High Level Creature Control ENCC-149 is to be contained in Anomaly Room 149. They are to be placed within a storage tank filled with water. No personnel are allowed to enter at this time. Constant movement within the containment room must be made. Description ENCC-149 are six abnormally large sea urchins, about the size of a wagon wheel. They do not move when other organisms are constantly moving. However, this applies to only one person per sea urchin. When a subject is not moving, they will charge at the organism and attempt to flee the ENCC facility. ENCC-149 are rather hazardous because the spines they possess are somewhat crystalline. Further text is illegible. Objects were found and classified as E-1649. Testing Log, SCP-2665-A Note, information on each member of the ENCC has been collected from documentation within SCP-2665-B. The members stating the testing logs are now identified. The members of the ENCC mentioned in the testing logs are Sally Rose, John, C footnote 4, Tommy Silver, Truss Jackson, and Andrew Hearth. The other 12 members of the ENCC have not been identified. Test Log 2665-A-1 Subject D1169 Events D-1169's hallucination showed a passageway within SCP-2665-B. D-1169 sees Sally Rose running down the passageway, 
being chased by an ENCC-149 instance. D-1169 shifts his body position and takes several steps to look around a corner in the passageway. Rose is seen running towards a pit full of water, but is then pulled to the side by John. The ENCC-149 instance falls into the pit of water and is unable to escape. Tommy Silver and Trust Jackson emerge from the spot where John was hiding, pull Rose to the side, and cover the pit with a net. John compliments everyone for capturing the ENCC-149 instance. Silver and Jackson shake hands, and John kisses Rose. Test is then concluded. Test Log 2665-A-2 Subject, D-1169 Events D-1169's hallucination shows a town full of people, see footnote 5, running and screaming in panic. D-1169 spots an anthropomorphic wasp terrorizing a town. The ENCC arrive. Silver runs toward the entity with a bucket of water and throws it on the entity. The wasp's wings become waterlogged, making flight extremely difficult. John, Rose, Jackson, and Andrew Harth arrive and grab the entity by the arms and guide it into one of the buildings. D-1169's hallucination flashes to the inside of the building. The ENCC begins to speak with the entity in order to understand why it is terrorizing the town. The entity refuses to speak. Silver then walks over to the entity and comforts it, promising that they are only trying to help. The entity complies and begins to explain. However, the hallucination ends before an explanation is given. Test Log 2665-A-3 Subject, D-1169 Events D-1169's hallucination showed the ENCC members by a campfire, gazing up at the stars. John is holding a guitar and brings the other members into a song. Lyrics were recorded by D-1169. I've been singing down that gritty old trail, the one where dreams are coming true. And even though I may not be coming home real soon, I'll make it worth it wherever I am. The group rejoices after the song is finished. The hallucination ends, and D-1169 reported a feeling of lightheartedness and nostalgia after the test. Test Log 2665-A-4 Subject, D-1169 Events D-1169's hallucination showed a passageway within the ENCC facility. Trust Jackson runs down the passageway, limping, while being pursued by a tall, black humanoid entity. He trips and falls to the floor. The humanoid entity runs over to Jackson and begins to physically assault him. The humanoid entity flees after hearing other members of the ENCC running in the humanoid entity's general direction. The other members begin to bandage Jackson. They cease doing so after discovering that he had died from blood loss. Rose takes out a flask and drinks from it. Test Log 2665-A-5 Subject, D-1169 Events D-1169's hallucination showed the inside of an ENCC dormitory. John and Sally Rose are spotted arguing. A transcript of the event is provided below. At the end of the hallucination, Rose takes her luggage and leaves John. Transcript Please, honey, we can't do this without you. Uh, it's too much, John. It's just too much. Trust, he had the rest of his life left. Tommy's not going to get better anytime soon. I just don't think I can do this anymore. I, I'm sorry, I really am. But we have to move on. We have a job to do. The Foundation always picked itself up with the Foundation. The Foundation, that's all you talk about. Who are those people anyway? Why haven't they helped us? Uh, I'm sorry, John. I can't take care of everything anymore. You have a lot more staff to help you, you know? Goodbye. Addendum 2665.2 Recovered Letter During exploration of SCP-2665-B, a small hole was discovered. The hole was drilled through and a cave was discovered on the other side, 
containing the remains of a human skeleton and a small sculpture. The sculpture depicted the four primary members of the ENCC, John, Rose, Silver, and Jackson. Next to the sculpture was a letter addressed to Sally. The letter is as follows. To Sally. Isn't it exciting? The mystery, the wonders, the hysteria? Who knew all this would happen, eh, Sally? Once, I was just a nobody working at the foundation. Life wasn't that exciting. Working in a cold facility filled with people I didn't know or hated. Honestly, I'm glad this happened to me, that I was sent back. I finally got to build up my own foundation with you, me, and the others. I got to live out my dream. But more importantly, it allowed me to meet you, Sally. You understood me perfectly, and I would have done anything to keep you safe. That's why I left you at the facility to work and research. I was starting to focus more on my work and losing sight of what really mattered, the people I had around me. I just hope you understand. I never liked my job. I really didn't. But I still did what I had to do. You know that I dedicated myself to my work no matter when or where I am, even if I might not like it. If you ever come back, I hope we can go on more of our own adventures. I'm glad I spent all this time with you. John. Addendum 2665.3 Recovered ENCC Anomalies During routine exploration of SCP-2665-B, an ENCC document was discovered by Agent Saggio. ENCC-111 Containment Class Medium Level Creature Control ENCC-111 is to be kept within Containment Chamber Room 111. No personnel are to use it at this time. Description ENCC-111 is a phonograph cylinder of unremarkable make. The object cannot play music as the object's cylinder is damaged. The crank is still functional. When a subject aligns themselves with the horn of the object while another user cranks ENCC-111, the anomalous properties become apparent. The memories of the subject will transfer to a nearby object in the subject's vicinity. All memories will be eradicated from the subject. Anyone that interacts with the object that holds the subject's memories will have heavy hallucinations of the subject's memories. Goodbye, Sally. Footnotes 1. This is the traditional way of holding a pickaxe when mining. 2. The ENCC was an anomaly-containing organization similar to the Foundation in nature and purpose, but much smaller in scale. It was run by approximately 17 people. The organization went bankrupt around 1855, and by then each member had left the ENCC. 3. Who had been tasked with carrying SCP-2665-A. 4. A last name was not given. 5. D-1169 was unable to identify the name of the town.